Okay, for today, we'll be discussing mesh analysis. For mesh, definition is, it is a loop that does not contain any other loop. Okay, so remember loops. So as a review, you can imagine it like this. So let's say, imagine that your current is this water wheel. Okay, and then current started to flow from point A back to its starting point. So from this one, from this figure, we have a closed path. Okay, current flows from point A back to its starting point. Then therefore, it is called a loop. Okay, so going back to mesh. So it is a loop which is not enclosed inside another loop. So, for example, we have this illustration. Okay. If our current flows from 40 volts and back to 40 volts, then we have a closed loop. So, this one is a loop, yes. But is it a mesh? It is a mesh because it is not within another loop. Okay. So, next one. This uh, diagram. So, this flow from 10 volts back to V2, so is this a loop? So this one is a loop, correct. But is this a mesh? So this one is not a mesh because there are internal loops inside. Okay. So these two meshes, they are considered mesh. Okay. So let's go to the mesh analysis. So Remember, we have talked about loops, so you can associate it as uh, connected to KVL. So mesh analysis is the application of KVL for circuit analysis. Okay, and the number of mesh determines the number of equations. So here are the steps you need to remember for mesh analysis. First is to use or set a consistent current flow it can be it can be clockwise or counterclockwise and next is to perform kvl per mesh in your circuit okay so let's have this example so let's solve for mesh and mesh currents i1 and i2 so first stop Determine the number of meshes. So we have two meshes. Okay. There are two mesh meshes. Okay, next one is to set a current flow. So I prefer the clockwise rotation. So I again uh, use consistent current flow. If you want counterclockwise, then this should be both counterclockwise. If you want clockwise, so you should set this. In clockwise direction. Okay, next is to what? So you need to perform KVL per mesh. 